Thank you for ordering your Logic Pro X keyboard cover from Editor's Keys. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how the keyboard cover works using my own personal keyboard cover for Final Cut Pro. So let's jump into it. So first things first, when your keyboard cover arrives in the post, you'll want to take it out of the packaging and just make sure you've got the right keyboard cover for your MacBook Pro or iMac keyboard. If you've ordered one of the larger keyboard covers for the iMac, the keyboard cover will be folded in half. So it may look a little small when it arrives in the post, but take it out of the packaging and you'll see it will fit your iMac keyboard. Okay, so once you've taken your keyboard cover out of the packaging, all you need to do to install it is simply place it over top of the keyboard that you've purchased it for. And you'll see that the keyboard cover has been perfectly molded for your keyboard and it will fit perfectly in place. So before I show you how your keyboard cover works, you may want to take a quick photo of it and share it using the hashtag editors keys. That way we'll share it to all of our followers too. Now, first things first, when you first get your keyboard cover, you may notice that the keyboard cover's return key looks slightly different than that of your own keyboard. And that's because we designed the keyboard covers so they can fit over all UK, European and US keyboards. So simply put it on top of your keyboard and you'll see that it will still perfectly fit your keyboard and be molded around all of your keys. So once you've put your keyboard cover on top of your iMac or MacBook Pro keyboard, just get your hands and run it over top of the keyboard cover just to ensure it fits snugly over your keyboard. Now, a lot of people ask, can you take this off once it's on? And the good news is, yes, you can. So the keyboard cover has been designed so you can take it on and off as many times as you like. And you can even wash the keyboard cover under some nice warm water to get rid of any grease, dirt or germs. Now the good news is, once the keyboard cover is on top of your keyboard, that's it, you've installed it. There's no drivers to install, no software or anything like that at all. We've designed the keyboard covers so they work with the default shortcuts of your editing program of choice. So if you're in Final Cut Pro like I am now, you'll find that these shortcuts will work straight out of the box, no matter if you're using an iMac or a MacBook Pro. So for example, if you press H on here, this will activate the hand tool. If you press the B, this will activate the blade tool. Of course, if you're using a different keyboard cover, look out for the shortcuts for the program you're using. But that's it, there's nothing to install and you're good to go. So there we go, I hope you enjoy using your new keyboard cover. But if you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact us. We also have a full FAQ on the website and we've got a YouTube channel too, which is youtube.com forward slash editors keys, where we have a ton of videos all about becoming a content creator. So make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.